I'm Charles Meyer and this is Jerry Lacatsis. We're here today for two reasons. One, we're going to discuss this car behind us. I purchased a 1968 Mustang uh, that's a straight six cylinder uh, blue that's uh, similar to the car that my dad bought in 1968 from Hayward Ford. So he got a car that was a 390 car and uh, ultimately ordered it here locally, picked it up with the intent to go road racing. So Jerry here met my dad shortly thereafter and perhaps you could tell us a little bit about my dad and the car. Yeah, Ford Motor Company needed somebody on the West Coast to run some of their Boss Rio 2 motors, so they gave Bill Meyer a Boss Rio 2 with the intent of having him do, do some R&D. And the idea of buying the, the 390 car was it had all the high performance suspension parts that you could get at that time without buying the stuff from Ford Motor Company that was race only, which was only available to uh, apparently Jones, George Fulmer, and the car was run here locally and actually was doing quite well, but the experimentation was part of the problem. We had to try different parts. So you met my dad shortly after the first race that he did with the car, is that something along the lines? Correct, he just, he just finished the 1969 Trans Am and the motor exploded because Ford gave him a camshaft that would not work with that motor. It could not run 8,500 RPM with stock valve springs. <laughs> So what we're going to do with the car here is I bought the car with really two intentions. One, of making it look like the car that my dad ran in the 1974 to 76 seasons. He won the Western States Driver of the Year uh, with SECA, where it had kind of an orange look with a, a yellow uh, stripe down the side. And essentially, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use our existing suspension here at Meyer, specifically today the rear leaf spring kit, the pannard rod kit. We're going to install it on this car and show you how, it's, how we do it what it does and why and how to adjust it and uh, essentially this is going to be the first video of a few related to this tribute car that we're building for my dad. So in any case, I've powder coated the uh, suspension components like our pannard rod kit orange so it's easy to see what's ours and where it fits in the car. Um, I anodized our lowering blocks. I'm going to put in one inch lowering blocks. I've got Integra shocks here. We've got adjustable single adjust, which I don't sell so often in our kit. One of the downsides is the upper mount here is a little bit difficult to mount into the floor and we'll figure out a way to do that. And with the adjustment here, the shock is an inch longer and when we're trying to keep the car low, we're going to run out of travel. But we're going to show you how we're going to work through this. So that's one thing. Uh, we've got these um, clevises that we make. This will help us to mount things up into the uh, frame or the uh, spring perches. We've got U-bolts. We've got the Willwood brake kit, uh, our shackle kit, our leaf springs. So by the end of the day, I hope to have everything sitting in the car and show you how it is that we got them from this table onto the car.
Okay, so here we are. It's actually at the end of the day, and uh, I haven't really done much talking other than uh, trying to thrash these parts out. So what we have right now is I'm gonna kind of go over it. So from the beginning of the video when I was talking and saying what we're doing until now, we've taken out the old suspension. It was a, a nine inch rear end and um, very tired leaf springs and all that. So we basically, nothing fancy, just unbolt everything. If you haven't taken a rear end out before, just take out the, sh disconnect the shackles, disconnect the front eye, disconnect the shocks. You may have a brake line in here, disconnect that. We have this up on a lift. We lowered it down the lift and we just rolled everything out. So from there, probably the most time that we spent all day today was just cleaning up frame rails and cleaning up underneath the car. The car has some rust that I need to address later, but I didn't really want to focus that right now on this video. So what I want to do now is I want to continue to talk about how to put the rear suspension in. So essentially we put in the leaf springs first and we position the front eye. We now provide the front bolts, as funny as it is, we didn't do that for a while, but we provide the front bolts. The leaf springs do not come normally with bushings, but if you buy the entire kit, then it comes with all the hardware. Uh, so leaf springs up here, the shackles here, it's just a standard rubber shackle. Put those in place and grease everything. Make sure that you over and extend to all the grease. Just really make sure it's good with grease. Then essentially what we did is we hung the rear end in place with our lowering blocks. We may go up or down on the lowering block, but I have a pretty good idea that one inch is gonna be pretty close. So we mounted our U-bolts, lowering blocks in place. And for a lot of people, I tell them, don't worry about U-bolts to the end. And if you are, or don't worry about lowering blocks to the end. Don't worry about it because it's relatively easy to put this back up in the air and slide the lowering block in and adjust your ride height in the end. So from there, we put in the spring plates, which is part of the pattern rod kit. And if I go over quickly any details, if I skip something, I have a, an extended video on how to do the pattern rod kit. But I'll tell you basically, the first thing that we did was once we put these two plates in place, we essentially put this cross member bracket, we clamped it up against the frame rail and we positioned, made sure that the position was right so that it wasn't rubbing against the back side of the housing. So this area here is critical that you're cleared here. So as long as this bracket provides that line, then you're okay. You can't really move too far here to the right or to the left and then that's it. The next bracket to figure out is from driver side frame rail to passenger side frame rail. So essentially there, the, this bar comes too long, about four to five inches too long. So we put this rod in in place, this rod in is all threaded in place, and the bar will overextend. And essentially came back, we cut it off, and I welded in the insert. The thing here is that even if you weld it a little short, the good, I'd rather weld it a little short because you still have adjustment in the thread here, you have adjustment in the thread here, and there's adjustment in this bracket up here. So don't worry about being a little short. This bracket here doesn't have too many options. It's relatively close to the sheet metal here. And uh, yeah, there's not much adjustability there. What's most important in this is this cross tube has a kink in it so that you can clear the back side of the housing. So I'm gonna end up putting a plug here, or actually I may end up putting a, uh, a fitting that comes out at an angle just so I'm sure not to hit this back bar, but I just wanna use this as a breather. I may end up, if I have issues with clearance, I may use one of these others as a breather, but uh, one will be a breather, one will be a fill, and one will be a drain. So the next thing that we have here is the Integra shock. This particular shock, is an adjustable shock. So we have the adjustment here. And what we did is we make this clevis with Port City Racing in Michigan. And this rod end fits right into the spring plate and it all bolts together, which is convenient. The top is a post and that goes up into the floor, which is also convenient. The thing that I haven't measured yet that I need to is when this thing is loaded and the car is at ride height, how much travel will I have here? At the moment it looks okay, but the car has got to settle probably an inch and a half or so once it's loaded with a fuel tank and weight and whatever. 
So we'll see how this thing plays out and I'll have to look at it after. But so when you order the Maya Racing rear suspension kit, essentially you have three options. You have the Bilstein shock, the upgraded Integra shock steel body, or the single adjust aluminum body Integra. And here's the adjuster here. In the Integra options, you have to run a clevis. The downside to the clevis is it shortens up uh, the distance and shortens up some travel. So you just have to tune into that. With a Meyer Racing uh, lowered spring and a one inch block, I believe you're fine as far as travel goes, um, but we just need to double check that. So if you're uh, going with the one inch block, just tune into the travel here. We can talk about that more later. Um, trying to think what else. I Oh, here's another thing. If you come around and look from this direction, the pannard rod kit, I essentially, because it's hanging down right now, I just position it in the middle adjuster in uh, both sides, and I may end up adjusting it more up or down later for uh, oversteer or understeer, but right now, I just put it in this position loose, wait till the thing's loaded on the ground, because you're going to have to change the length of this tube a little bit when it comes down to level, because this is going to shorten the tube. So in any case, I'll leave this loose. So we have a full floater in here right now. We have Willwood brakes. Uh, I'm pretty excited about getting this whole thing going. Uh, it's a nine inch rear end. It's a nine inch floater. And um, this is our suspension kit. We don't sell the rear ends. You can buy these from a bunch of places, but you're welcome to ask me about it. And um, basically our kit again, just in, in conclusion, is the leaf spring, pannard rod kit, clevises, shocks, U-bolts, lowering blocks if you end up running them, and uh, that's it. The bushings in the front and bushings in the back. So this is the end of the first video for the Tribute car, and uh, I'm super excited that it is beginning now and that we're rolling, and um, while it's uh, slightly different than what my dad did, it's essentially an evolution of his business, so it's pretty cool. Started with the 68 Mustang, and now 51 years later, uh, we're putting together a car that has something to do with what he put together here at Meyer Racing. So speak to you soon. Charles Meyer checking out. So here we go. We got Sonia here, Meyer Racing, working on nine inch rear ends. She's putting together this floater, maybe helping me with uh, the floater for the uh, tribute car. What do you say, Sonia? Um, I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. All right.